We will begin this afternoon with the federal indictment of former President Donald Trump. He left his golf course in Bedminster around noon, and he just landed in Miami ahead of his scheduled court appearance tomorrow. And good afternoon. I'm David Navarro. I'm Sandra Bookman. In today for Liz, Trump is expected to be booked and fingerprinted before he faces that federal judge tomorrow. The local police are now joining forces with the Secret Service and U.S. Marshals, tightening security around the courthouse in downtown Miami. Trump has summoned his supporters to the courthouse, but it is not clear at this point just how many will actually show up. The former president faces a total of 37 counts related to his handling of classified documents after he left office. These are very serious charges, including conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and the willful retention of national defense secrets. If convicted, Trump could potentially face decades in prison. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Johnson is live at Newark Liberty Airport, where Trump took off this afternoon. Anthony? Yes, Sandra, there was quite a bit of activity, a flurry of it this morning as the president took off from his Bedminster location around 11 o'clock, arrived here at Newark Liberty Airport, and then left from here, heading down to Florida for that hearing that'll take place in federal court in Miami tomorrow afternoon. The former president left his Bedminster Golf Club right around 11 o'clock this morning in a motorcade heading to Newark Liberty Airport. About 45 minutes later, he quickly boarded his aircraft and within a matter of minutes was wheels up heading to Miami for tomorrow's court proceedings. Three hours later, he touched down in Florida where officials are preparing for large crowds outside the courthouse. In our city, um, A, we, we obviously believe in the Constitution and believe that people should have the right to express themselves. Um, but we also believe in law and order. The former president has encouraged his supporters to protest, but Miami officials want to ensure those events are peaceful. We're bringing enough resources to handle crowd anywhere from 5,000 to 50,000. We don't expect any issues. The former president is meeting with lawyers at his country club in Florida, while his Republican supporters are calling this 37 count federal indictment unfair saying Mr. Trump had the right to keep these sensitive documents at his Florida home. If he wants to store, if he wants to store material in a box, in, in a bathroom, if he wants to store it in a box on a stage, he can do that. But not everyone is on board with that line of reasoning. They are questioning why a former president would hold on to national security secrets and say the indictment sets out a strong case. It's very narrowly tailored. They didn't throw everything up against the wall to see what would stick. Uh, this really is a rifle shot, and I, I think it's, uh, it should be uh, the end of Donald Trump's political career. Now, once the court proceeding ends tomorrow down in Miami, the former president will be boarding a plane down in Miami, heading here to Newark Liberty Airport once again, and then going back to Bedminster, where he is expected to have a news conference tomorrow evening at 8.15.